Hey folks, it's been a while since I've done anything on this site, on the YouTube. Uh, and, um, well, hey, what can I say? I'm a college student, don't have a lot of free time. But, uh, I figured I'd just make a, uh, quick video of some of the, uh, games I've gotten over the past, uh, week or so. Uh, pretty, pretty good haul, actually. Uh, I'm just going to start off with the small individual games I got, which are, uh, Star Wars on the 32X. I haven't actually sat down to play this. It's kind of a pain in the ass to hook up the 32X. Um, I have my Game Gear in here for some reason. Uh, I don't know. I actually never used that thing. I just put it in there, and I think I was wanting to experiment with it a bit, but whatever. Or, sorry, not Game Gear. Game Genie. The Game Genie. Cheat codes. Anyway, yeah, I'm just going to uh, put this in here just to remind myself to sit down and actually play this. Because I hear Star Wars Arcade on the 32X is really good. Uh, up next, something I should have had in my collection a long time ago, Sonic and Knuckles. It doesn't have the uh, lid there, which means I got it for a couple bucks less than it usually goes for. It usually goes for ten, I got it for seven, I think. Sonic and Knuckles. Plug one of the uh, Sonic games onto this and plays Knuckles in it. Awesome. It's also its own individual game and a very good one at that. Uh, again, haven't sat down to play this, but I have it on the uh, Sonic's Ultimate Genesis collection on my Xbox 360. And uh, for the record, if you own a 360 or a PS3 and you don't have Sonic's Ultimate Genesis collection, Get Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection. My god, that's a great collection of games. It's like 20 bucks. If the, the price is probably dropped, it's probably not that much. I mean, in all the games you get. Oh, wow, it's an awesome collection. Anyway. Uh, this game, also haven't tested it out. Again, haven't had too much free time. I'm a college student. Kind of comes with the territory. Alter Echo on the Xbox. It just looked interesting. Two bucks. You know. I saw it there a lot. I'm just like, well, it looks like some sort of alien guy. Uh, but he's a guy in a mask. I, I don't know. I haven't played it at all. You're kind of seeing a pattern here, right? <laughs> but no, it's, um, it looks interesting. I don't know anything about it. It's made by THQ. And, uh, I am trying to collect every Mortal Kombat game, or every, like, not every one on every console, just, like, one of each, and, unfortunately, a bit of an update on that, I need to get a new copy of Armageddon, because mine has a big-ass crack in it. Great, so I have to buy that again. I don't even particularly like Armageddon. <laughs> What you gonna do? Anyway, Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks. I have been meaning to sit down and play this for a long time. I've played it a little bit. It looks pretty good. Um, I've been more occupied with like Resident Evil 4 lately, because it's the month of Halloween. I might as well play some horror games. But this is, uh, you know, it's pretty good from what little I've played of it so far. I've never played it before until recently, and... I'm impressed. Gives a thumbs up from me. I wish I got the Xbox version, though. Not really any preference one way or the other. I just don't have very many Xbox games. So, I think there's a version on GameCube, too. I don't have many GameCube games either, so... And yet I have a humongous collection of PS2 games. Uh, and now on to the meat of the things I got. And this is a very, very good haul. I bought this from a friend of mine who just wanted to get rid of it for $20, and $20 well spent. Uh, I don't think, he wasn't getting any use out of it. I wanted it. I actually showed one of the games I got for it first, the first one I got, I believe, in another video, and that is Marvel vs. Capcom 2 for the Dreamcast. I got a Dreamcast. 
by the way. Really fun game. Okay, I got the Dreamcast console. It's, uh, can't really see that. See it here, but I'm just going to hold it up right next to my uh, old busted Dreamcast console. Yeah, yeah, you can't really tell the difference, but um, my old one is, like, clean, and it doesn't work. The uh, other one that I got, it's kind of starting to yellow a little bit. I mean, you can tell that the previous owner was a smoker. Not a problem. I don't care about what it looks like as long as it works. And it works. And, yeah, now he, uh, my friend bought this at a yard sale. And I'm guessing the previous owner just smoked like a chimney in his game room. Now, my friend smokes, but he doesn't smoke in his game room. He doesn't even smoke in his apartment. You know, and... I, I don't know. It's just... Therefore, his games aren't yellowing unless he bought them at a thrift store or flea market and they already work, so... Anyway, yeah, it, it yellows not really as bad as, like, a Super Nintendo would, but... You know... Eh, I don't care. It works perfect. What the cosmetic... Any cosmetic problems with it aren't a problem, and it's not even all that noticeable. Unless you're holding it up right next to another one. It's clean. Now, uh, I got a couple of the... I have a memory card for it. You can actually see some of the, uh, yellow smoker thing. Like, uh, on... Yeah, it's like right on the outline of where the thing is. It's like... Yeah. And my old memory card, which I'm actually finally getting some use out of. I have two of these. Very cool. I also now have four controllers. Let's see if I can find... Yeah, this is still some sort of yellowing on it. I don't really care. Doesn't doesn't even smell. It doesn't smell like, you know, because my friend's had it for a couple of years, and the smell's kind of gone, I guess. But yeah, you can see uh, where the cord is wrapped around. Well, you can't. I can. Uh, damn low quality camera. Uh, yeah, I can see like where the cord was wrapped around it, because that's where it's still white instead of like slightly beige. Again, not a complaint, just observation. It works perfect. That's all I give a crap about. You know, unless it has like some severe cosmetic damage, in which case, well, if I were to buy some uh, game console or something with severe cosmetic damage, I'd be expecting to get it for less, and I would count it as a win. Because as long as the damage isn't affecting the gameplay or anything like that. So, whatever. Um, I also got the green Dreamcast controller, which looks pretty cool. I prefer the blue one, which I've had for a while and never been able to use. But, uh... You know, Dreamcast controllers, I'm... I, I really still don't know if I like them or not. They're just weird-shaped. They feel sort of comfortable in my hand, but, like, I don't know why they have to be shaped like a damn spaceship. Like a really fat spaceship. It's like these are better than the original Xbox controller, which were as big as your head. And, uh... But I honestly prefer the Nintendo 64 controller to these. I mean... Say what you will about the thing being misshapen. The Nintendo 64 controller is a great controller, in my opinion. I'm in the minority there. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much everything that I've gotten over the past week or so. Uh, very happy with, with what I've gotten. Uh, I might be getting some more updates soon. I might be trying to do some other things that aren't collection finds videos... But again, with college, don't really have the time. But I'm going to try to make the time. I have, like, I have a couple days off for, like, a holiday. I forgot which one. I think Columbus Day, whatever. So I'm going to try to sit down and, when I'm not doing homework, I'm going to try to do something. But, uh, yeah, no, um, hope you, uh, enjoyed this video. Hope I can get some more stuff done soon. And I don't know. Have a good one.